Hello all you beauty people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below, we're going to be getting into my summer glow makeup routine. I've been really wanting to do this video because A, it's summer, we all love the glowy dewy skin, well at least some of us do, especially for me when I have like dry complex skin, I want to have as much hydration and dewiness to my skin as possible. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, but yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you guys, especially since I've been kind of featuring it a lot on my IG um, pictures and stuff like that. So I just kind of wanted to get into the products that I have been loving to give myself that summer glow look. You know, that hot girl summer, because it's that time. It is like 73 degrees outside. My pool is finally open. And also, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to like show you guys my makeup routine since today I'm kind of on that go 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 mood I'm kind of because I'm gone all weekend for work but I just had the opportunity today to kind of take time to sit down and film a few videos I've got one that's right now that's uploading that's gonna go up today right now um, and then I want to try and edit these two later because I have some things going on right now today I actually thought about vlogging today and then I just didn't because I figured I'd just film these two videos but if you guys are interested in me vlogging um, let me know. I've done it before, just kind of like at random, but if that's something you guys are interested in, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, this video is going to be going up after I've already uploaded my giveaway video, so make sure you guys go ahead and check out my Ipsy um, Glam Bag X giveaway video. I'll link it down below or at the end of this video for you guys to go ahead and check out if you want to enter into that giveaway. And I don't know right now how many subscribers I have, but I'm so close to 400. I know I took a break for a while from you guys to kind of just enjoy life. I went on vacation and stuff like that. So I'm kind of trying to get back into the game of filming. But yes, I'm so close to 400. If we get to 400, you guys know what's going on. Or if you don't, I film videos two, three times a week. I do monthly giveaways. But every single 100 tier I hit into my subscriber count, I will do an extra giveaway in that month, which is an international giveaway. And I actually have already something planned to give away for 400 because I actually had a bag come back to me which is so sad from one of my like last giveaways and uh, so I think it was an international one and just take in consideration if you guys ever do decide to enter into those international giveaways and that you do win sometimes you have to worry about customs um, and shipping factors even though I do my part there might be an extra part that you might have to do in order to get the products again I apologize about that but I have no control about what certain countries do when it comes to shipping or customs and things like that. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. But before we do that, you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video with a big thumbs up because you know you want to. And it helps me out so, so much, especially with that YouTube algorithm, because if you don't like the video, then it doesn't get shown to other people. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it helps me out a lot. Also, I've noticed in my algorithm, that a lot of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So please join this beautiful family of ours here. And then don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you miss a video with me, your girl, Sandra D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, guys. So jumping into this glowy makeup routine that I've been doing lately, it literally doesn't take me that long. It might take me a little bit longer because I'm filming it on camera. But when I get into the groove of it, it takes me maybe like five, ten minutes at the most. And then I can be out the door just because if it's all cream products, not really setting my face that much or doing like a lot of extra stuff that I normally would do if I was doing like full on glam. So just starting off really quickly before you even start doing your makeup, make sure you guys go ahead and moisturize your skin. I went ahead and moisturized my skin with two of these items right here. This is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's a primer. It's a type of gel type of formula. Well, I can't really show you is that, but it just basically hydrates your skin. So there is that. And then on top of that, I went ahead and with an SPF. It is summer outside, so like I said, that hot girl summer, you gotta make sure you put some a little bit of SPF onto your skin. The one I've been using right now is the Murad Essential C Essential C Day Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this one is really great, especially since it's in a nice like travel size, but I think this is also the full size as well. A little goes a long way when it comes to your skin, and just let it go ahead and settle in. I do like how it doesn't have that like white cast, how most like SPFs normally do. do. Wow, how most SPF normally do. So this one is really great. I don't know the price point on this. I definitely got this in like a boxy charm 
or an Ipsy, something like that. But you can always find this at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They'll always have Murad products. And I know I've actually seen this one on the actual shelf. So keep an eye out for it if you are wanting to get this instead of paying full price at Sephora or actually on the Murad um, website. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with a primer that I've been really loving. This is the Glass Correcting Primer. This is the Brightening Primer by Wet n Wild. It does have a slight shimmer to it, so it does add a little bit of dewiness to your skin. You guys have seen me actually try this out before on camera um, previously a while back. Uh, I think it was in like my new Wet n Wild video. If you guys are interested in that, I'll link it down below for you guys because they did come out with some new products recently um, and they were like all like a tinted moisturizer, different primers. So this is the one I've actually been using the most just because it does have that slight shimmer to it and it is a brightening primer. So as you can see on my skin, it does have a nice little like brightening to it, but it also has a little bit of a shimmer, which gives me that little bit of extra glow that I want underneath my tinted moisturizer. So now we've gone ahead and done that. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in just a little bit, just so you guys can kind of see um, a little bit better. If I need to come out of focus, do I need to pull this up? Okay, there, so you can kind of see my skin a little bit better now. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the next product, which is this one right here. This is by Milani. This is the Hydrating Skin Tint in 210, which is their light to medium skin tint. Obviously, you guys can tell I do have my summer tan still going. I need to like keep up with it since I've been back from Mexico. I haven't been in a tanning bed or really tanning outside, but trust me, it'll come back once I actually have an opportunity to lay by my pool. I wanted to lay by my pool today, but I don't think I was gonna have time to just because I had so much stuff going on today that I needed to get done. So this is what it looks like on my hand. As you can see, it is a little bit more of a tint to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dot this all over my face. Um, definitely a little goes a long way with this as well, but you know, it is what it is. So sometimes people use their hands. Sometimes people use a beauty blender. For me, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands. Sometimes I use my hands. Sometimes I use a blender. Other times I don't. So just to really get this into the skin and then we're gonna go ahead up to our forehead go around really get that in there all right so now that I've kind of blended that into my skin you can kind of see it's a little bit different it does have a little bit more of a tint to it right now at the moment um, it doesn't add give you that much coverage I'll actually tell you what it does on the back right now at the moment so it's an ultra luminous skin tint that has a sheer to light coverage melts in the skin for a naturally dewy glow it is powered by 29% which is squalene it has the powerhouse ingredients that lock in moisture and prevents hydration loss um, glow enhanced ingredients with electrolytes coconut water blend and vitamin C and E so that is what this is supposed to do again if you're into the whole tinted moisturizer kind of thing and you want something that has a little bit of a benefit to it and obviously is going to give you that little bit of a glow you should definitely go ahead and check this out it's so good okay um, so now that we're gonna go ahead and did like our base right there I'm gonna go ahead and take the fit me concealer which is in the color medium just because I am dark I want to go ahead and conceal some of the areas on my skin that need a little extra coverage um, just a little bit not a lot uh, but yeah, I definitely need to find a mirror to use right now at the moment. I forget which mirror I used last time when I was doing this. But so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this mirror really quickly and put this on my skin. Obviously, I do have a breakout right here on my skin. Go ahead and conceal it. As you can see, that's kind of like almost like a perfect match right now at the moment while I'm tan. Go ahead and put that underneath my under eyes for us. And then a few other little spots around my face just a kind of spot conceal like I said and then uh, I'm really irritated right now actually I have more breakouts than I normally would but I think it's just because my period's about to start soon all right so I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that in and I pretty much just take in some of like the leftover just kind of patting that all over my skin just kind of spread out a little extra coverage if I need it uh, so there is that and then just to kind of brighten underneath my eyes just a little bit. I did have that concealer out. I don't know what I did with it. The one I've been using the most. Oh, okay. Um, and then the other concealer I've been using a lot recently is the Juvia's Place one. Because this one's a little bit more darker than compared to some of my other concealers I have. But I've just been doing a little, not a lot. There's like one little dab. 
one little dab there and then just kind of blending that out i don't want it to be too full coverage because again i want this to still be like a natural like glam a natural like glowy look you know what i meant not i almost said glam but glow so just to brighten up the under eyes just a little bit since i am still kind of tan and i just kind of want to have a little bit of definition of difference between underneath my eyes but not too much to where I look like a ghost. I'm gonna go ahead and set my T-zone areas just so that I have a little bit of powder in those areas. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take the powder that I decided to choose, which I didn't realize if I even said anything about. The powder I've been using lately is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one is just in a light, I believe. Um, I don't think this even has a sticker on it, no clue. But I think it's in light. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes really quickly. Take that down to my nose because my nose creases a lot, which is, which sucks sometimes, but it is what it is. And then get the other side, make sure I blend that out one more time. I got down into my nose, a little bit here on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Right there in the center and then we are good to go. So that's pretty much that when it comes to actually using any type of like powder on my face. All right, going in next, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of bronzer. So I've been more into like the cream bronzer. You guys, I think I've used this before recently in a video. This is the Born to Glow NYX Radiant Concealer and I've been using this as like my dewy bronzer on my face so it has that kind of applicator it's supposed to be like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury one i believe is what i've been told so we're just gonna go ahead and get that onto our face kind of put it in these areas right here on our cheekbones a little bit on our forehead there's that um right on our nose on the side i'll blend that up Trust me, it looks like a mess right now at the moment, but it's not. Right here on the jawline. And then we are good to go. And then I just use a kabuki brush. A, oh my God, a, a kabuki brush right here. And just kind of really just blend that all out in tapping motions. And then it just looks flawless. So I think that's one of like my favorite things about this. I think I kind of messed up on that one. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention where I was putting it at. So there's that. Kind of blend that down just a little bit. Kind of giving ourselves a little bit of like that sunburnt kind of look. Trust me, it's going to tie all together here in a moment. All right. So there is the whole like contour bronzer type of look that we've got going on our face next we're going to go in with blush my favorite blush right now cream blush i've been using right now is the elf putty blushes this is in turks and caicos it's kind of like their corally color that they have i'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush into here i've been using the elf putty primer applicator brush because it's actually dense enough to work really well with the blushes as well i don't really reach for the elf putty primer because it just doesn't really work that well with my skin um, I probably should declutter those, but I just have them just in case because if I ever want to do like another e.l.f. dedicated video, I could use those. Um, I think the last time I did an e.l.f. dedicated video, I don't think I used them. I, feel, I don't remember what e.l.f. primer I used. Oh, I used the, the mint one, which was actually a really good one too. But, okay, dipped into this enough and we're going to go ahead and put that up on our high of our cheekbones because that's like the more thing to do these days. Just kind of gives you a higher cheekbone so you, you see how nice that color is it just it's beautiful and there is that when it comes to a blush so we are done with that aspect go ahead and put that away the next thing we're gonna go ahead and move on to is brows really quickly so I've been kind of just doing more of like the natural brow kind of thing I've been using two different brow not I guess not pomades two different brow gels so I've been kind of combining the um, essence make me brow with the duo fibers with the gimme brow benefit I think this is in 3.5 um, I've been using it a lot and it's been like 
coming off. I don't know why the tag's been coming off. I don't if it's because of what's on my hand. If the glue's just coming off, it is what it is. But this is in 3.5. So yeah, just kind of going in with the actual one that's kind of the darker shade, the Asher shade, and then going in with the other one that kind of gives it a nice combination of colors on my brow. So I typically, this one comes off with a lot of, I guess you can say these are actually dupes for each other realistically. Um, this one is like five dollars and this one's like twenty four dollars or eighteen whatever it is but just combing through my brows really quickly kind of going that up motion because I still want them to be nice and fluffy and natural but it gives them a nice tint to my brows Okay, so there are my brows set. Again, they're a little bit more on the messier side, but that's what I wanted. I want more like a nice, fluffy type of brow for that natural look. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go into a highlighter, I guess, because I'm gonna leave the eyes for last. That's like something that's really simple. I really don't do much with my eyes. Um, but yeah, so highlighter. This girl has been my favorite. It is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops in Original. You will see why this is amazing in like 2.5 seconds. You A little goes a long way. I'm telling you this right now. So I normally just put a little on my fingers or on my face and then just kind of just like tap it out and really try and push it into those cream products so it really just gives the skin just like look at that glow. Just It's so natural. It's just beautiful. So go ahead and do that on the other side. Put it right there on the top of our cupid's bow and you guys can see how amazing that glow is on our skin you can just see how amazing that natural glow is on our skin it is just so amazing i love it love it so so much all right before i do the eyes before i do mascara and all that stuff like that i'm gonna go ahead in sorry with my setting spray of choice which is the iconic london prep set and glow spray now they have this in which this is the original mist um, but they also have it in a tanner version. If you are dark skinned, you would probably want to go with that one for more of a setting spray. If you are more like medium to light toned um, skin or whatever fair, you might want to go in with this one because it kind of just matches a little bit better. So go ahead and spray this all over our face. So you see how glowy my skin is now. Just wait until you see this. So the mist on this is actually really nice. Kind of want to hold it a little bit far back and then make sure you get your whole entire face. And now, do you just see how much more radiant my skin is? It's ridiculous. But this is just, just such a refreshing spray. It doesn't, it's not, the smell of it's not overbearing either. And it just gives your skin just like so much a better, nice glow. Do you see how my forehead looks? Like, it looks like I have highlighter on my forehead, but I don't. I didn't put anything on my forehead. It just gives my skin just a nice radiant glow. I, and it enhances that highlighter on our face. It's just so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, so for eyes, I've just been kind of doing really more of just like a natural, like brown toned look and then just highlighting my inner corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my tried and true of Made for Matte palette and just taking that kind of like taupey shade, which is like one of these two. Oh, sorry. Now I'm in focus. Um, trying to just take in that taupey shade, one of these two, kind of combining them together and just putting that all over my lid. That. And then my favorite inner corner highlight that I've been using a lot lately, you guys heard me probably talk about in the past, is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first one. Um, and I just kind of just take the second lightest shade, which is right here, and put that into my inner corner. You will see in about 2.5 seconds why it is just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, I sometimes have been doing the liquid illuminator, but it just it's not as bright as I want it to be, and that's just kind of how I've been loving it a lot lately. So just look at that instantly. Just so beautiful. And since because we haven't, there's no powder there and it is still kind of like tacky, it goes on so well and it brightens up so good. Um, minus the eye go. 86 that. Yeah, so there is my inner corner highlight. 
And then we're going to go ahead and put this away. I do not know what that shade color is. I think it's called Beam. So on the back, this one luckily still has what it's supposed to be called. So that is in the shade Beam. And then going in with mascara and lips, we're almost done realistically. So for mascara, my favorite combination I've been doing lately is the Falsies Maybelline, obviously waterproof because you guys heard me talk about it. So many times on my channel, I have just floppy, floppy lashes. I need this. I need this a lot. And then going in with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Great combo together. At least for me, it is the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I will be right back to finish up and do the lips and then we're good to go. All right, so we have completed the face for most of the part. You guys can see how glowy and dewy my skin is. The last thing we have to do, since I've gone ahead and put on my mascara and stuff, as you can see, my lashes is how they look. Um, but the lip product I've been really loving for right now, that dewy summer look, is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine by e.l.f., another e.l.f. product of mine that I've been really loving. This one is in the shade Giddy. These came out not that long ago um, this year, but they do have a slight tint to them, but they also have um, some hydration, some vitamins and things that are in it that really make your lips stay hydrated throughout the whole entire day and also give you a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on really quickly. Like instantly, you can see the color And it just looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys out really quickly. And this is the final look. So what do you guys think of my makeup? Are you guys interested in trying out any of these products? I would definitely love to know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are, especially over this. Or do you guys use different other products that I should dabble into when it comes to having that summer glow look? Please, please let me know because you know I am a makeup enthusiast, so I will buy things that are necessary to add into my collection. Anyways, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to and it helps me out so, so much. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you miss a video with me, your girl Sandra D, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.